my most long-awaited video that I have been requested at least like 500 times to film. It's finally getting done at the end of 2017. I am here to share with you my 2017 bookshelf tour. So as you guys can see, I have quite a many array of books behind me here. Um, I The last bookshelf tour I posted, um, I had one bookshelf and I have one, two, three bookshelves, a desk, and a like little quarter half size bookshelf over here. Uh, you got hair sticking to the lipstick. Little mini bookshelf over here and then I also have some books on my desk and yeah so we've the collection has grown tremendously. Give you guys a bit of a background. I have been collecting books for about four and a half, about four years since I started booktube. As far as the organization of my bookshelves um, it's kind of non-existent. Um, I just put books wherever they fit on my shelf. Um, so I have books that I have read mixed with books that I have not read. And for some of you guys, this might be a huge pet peeve. You're like, what? How could you do that? But to be completely honest, like, I have a pretty photographic memory when it comes to my shelves. So like, I have no trouble finding where everything is. It's kind of like a organized chaos sort of situation where to anybody looking in, they're like, oh my god, how do you know where everything is? But I just I just know where it, everything is because I'm an all-knowing being. So yes, there's no specific organization. I will say though that I have a table behind here. This is the only area that's almost entirely books that I have not read yet. Um, and this is kind of like where I put books that I haven't found a place for on my shelf yet. So yes, that is like my packaging storage sort of area over there. Anyways, let's stop the talking and get into this. I'm really excited. Um, I have been waiting to film this and I know it's to be a quite a long video so thank you for sticking around and watching if you make it to the end um, but yeah let's go I'm just gonna do a quick overview of my little sorting table over here um, I have quite a few books I have some books I just received from Harper Collins, which I have not hauled yet, so these are like spoilers, don't look. Beneath the Sugar Sky by Sheena McGuire. I'm super excited to read that one. This is my little table over here, so let's get into the actual shelves tour. So the first book I have here is The Animators by Kayla Ray. A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir, which I really need to read. I'm probably gonna end up having to reread the first one because it's been a while since I've, I've read that one. The Silver Witch by Paula Braxton. The Mothers by Britt Bennett. All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders. The Girl in Between by Sarah Carroll. Flashfall by Jenny Moyer. Ever the Hunted by Erin Simarell. See Me by Nicholas Sparks. Fire in Stars by Audrey Colhurst. Colhurst. Starflight by Melissa Landers. I have two Sarah Destin books here. I have The Truth About Forever and Saint Anything. Tempest by Julie Cross and The Serpent King by Jeff Zentner, which I really need to read this one. I met the author and he was super nice. But then I have Marlena, a novel by Julie Bunton. This book I have started but have not completed. I only, like, I keep starting this book and getting like 10 pages in and then I'm like, oh, I'm not really in the mood for historical fiction. Um, but I need to read it and it is is Assault to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. The Takedown by Corey Wang. And then lastly, I have The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, another one in which I need to read so that I can watch the movie. We're going down, 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 down. I have the entire box set of um, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and I got this from my little stepsister. She found it at a Goodwill for like $10, and it's still completely in the plastic. Um, I'm not sure if this is a collector's edition or not. It just looks really fancy and I do not want to take it out of the packaging because I need to google if this is a collector's edition because if so I'm going to try and keep it in as best condition I can but I literally have not opened this one um, or read the books but I have seen the first movie which I know is like a book sin but I'm sorry I'm sorry. Then I have the first three books in the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson and then I have Red Rising by Pierce Brown, Alas Babylon by Pat Frank, Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas, The Bronze Horse 
Husband by Paulina Simmons, Get Well Soon by Julie Halpern, Molokai by Alana Brennert, Amid Stars and Darkness by Chani Lynn Feener, Avalon and Polaris by Mindy Arnett, Breathe by Sarah Crossman, Birthright and Heart of Shadows by A.P. Jensen. On my third shelf here, I have Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. And then I have the first two books. I don't know where the other two went because I have the four, I think there's four books in this series that I got from Book Outlet. Um, and it's a fairy series. So I have Fairy After and Fairy Winter by Jenny Lee Simmer. Uh, Sinner? Simner? I, I think I said that. Hopefully, okay. Um, somewhere, oh, I think I, there's on the other shelves, I have the other books in this series, but I only have two of them here. The Ward by Jordana Frankel. Tandem by Anna Jarzab. Beastkeeper by Kat Hellison. Mosquito Land by David Arnold. How to Think Like Sherlock by Daniel Smith. And An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. Mila 2.0 by Deborah Driza. Asleep by Crystal Wade. This cover is so creepy and I love it. The Last Summer of Us by Maggie Harcourt. Juniper Lemon's Happiness Index by Julie Israel. Greek Philosophy, Tales of Aristotle, 3rd edition, revised and expanded, edited by Reginald E. Allen. <laughs> that was a mouthful. <laughs> to All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Project Kane by Jeffrey Girard. And the second book, or actually the first book, companion book to this, is way on my other shelf. But like I said, I have terrible organization, so even books in my series are all kind of mixed up, so you'll notice that. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. And then lastly, The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. So we're getting a little lower down here. I'm gonna have to remove my camera from the tripod. A Song of Currents by Sarah Tolster. I think that's how you say that. The Guns Above by Robin Bennis. Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith. Everything All at Once by Katrina Leno. Shadows Cast by Stars by Katherine Knutson. Knutson? Pulse by Patrick Carmen, and then under here I have The Book of Ivy, Ivy by Amy Engel. First book in the Gone series by Michael Grant, and that is Gone. Hotel for the Lost by Suzanne Young. A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston. Plus One by Elizabeth Fama. An amazing book that I absolutely love that all of you ladies out there have to read, and that is Hashtag Girl Boss by Sophia Amoruso. Finding London by Ellie Wade. Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. Then I have By Your Side by Casey West. Then I also have um, P.S. I Like You by Casey West, but I think it is on another shelf. The Piper's Price by Audrey Greathouse. This is the second book in a um, Peter Pan retelling series. But Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray. Freya by Matthew Lawrence. First and Then by Emma Mills. When We Collided by Emery Lord. Another amazing, an amazing, amazing book here. Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. She's amazing. You should check her out. Oh my god, you guys, this is the other fairy book. Okay, so this is the first fairy book and it's called Bones of Fairy by Janie Lee Simner. Very short book, very creepy if you're into that. The Summer of Bad Ideas by Kira Stewart. Orphan Island by Laurel Snyder. Disarm by June something, June Gray. The Book Jumper by Michelle de Glasser. Frostbite by Ellie Blake. Winter Song by S.J. Jones. Um, the Complete Poetry Collection by Maya Angelou. And then I have Truth Witch by Susan Denard, A Map for Rec Girls, Unwind, Between the Lines by Jodi Picoult, Vampire Academy, City of a Thousand Dolls, Easy, Exquisite Captive um, by Heather Demetrios, and then two Paolo Coelho books over here. So now onto the white bookshelf, which is personally one of my favorite bookshelves because it has pretty much all of my favorite series and I just like, I love this shelf so much. If you can see this first uh, shelf here is kind of a mess, but um, it's my beautiful semi organized mess. <laughs> First series I have here is my favorite series of all time, The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stavater. I have all four books, The Raven Boys, The um, the Raven King. Oh my god, this is all out of order. We have The Raven Boys and The Dream Thieves, The Blue Lily Blue, and then The Raven King all here. I'm going to move this down just temporarily. Then I have my second 
favorite series ever, ever, which is also out of order. Um, and it is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I have the first book here, which has been thoroughly annotated. Um, then I have A Court of Mist and Fury, which has also been thoroughly annotated. <laughs> and then I have A Court of Wings and Ruin, the last book, which I read so fast I could not really annotate. My babies, my children, I'm gonna move them down here. One of my all-time favorite books ever, ever, and that is Shadow Me by Tara Moffey. And I have the second and the third book in that series as well, Unravel Me and Ignite Me, which is way over here, and they're kind of like stuck in there, so I'm just gonna leave them in there. Tiger Lily by Jodie Lynn Anderson. We'll start with this corner over here. I have the first three books in the Grisha Trilogy by Leia Bardugo. I have Shadow and Bone. Si uh, I can never say this word. Siege? Siege. <laughs> I keep wanting to say Siege. Siege and Storm by Leigh Bardugo. And then Ruin and Rising. Sadly, I have the new editions of the second two, which are absolutely gorgeous. And then the old edition of the first one, so they don't really match very well, but it's alright. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, also by Leigh Bardugo. And also amazing books that you should read if you have not already. I have a Night World by L.J. Smith. Um, and I have Lord of the Shadows by Cassandra Clare. Ah! Unite Me, which is the bind up of the novellas for Shatter Me. The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Mass, Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass, and pretty much the whole um, Throne of Glass series here, which again, one of my favorite series ever, ever, ever. This is like my little Sarah J Mass section. Kiss of Deception series. I have two copies of the first book um, by Mary E. Pearson. I have a hardback copy and then a softback copy, another amazing series. And then I have my entire Alice in Wonderland collection up here. So I have Alice in Wonderland, the B&H Collector's Edition. I, I love of Alice in Wonderland, by the way, guys, so that's why I have multiple copies. Um, then I have an Alice in Wonderland inspired sort of retelling by my favorite author, Tahira Mafi, and that is Furthermore. Um, and then I have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and this is the Puffin Books edition, I believe. Um, super cute, super tiny. Barnes & Noble's classic edition of this Lewis Carroll Alice in Wonderland. So, yes! Then I have my little Sheena McGuire collection. Again, the, uh, pretty much every book on this top shelf is on my top 10 favorite books of all times list. But I have Every Heart of Doorway and Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Sheena McGuire, as well as Dusk or Dark or Dawn or Day by Sheena McGuire, and if you guys saw, I have my the last book in the series on my um, little uh, arc desk over there. All right, now on to my Cassandra Clare shelf. Ah, okay. So the first book I have here isn't actually a Cassandra Clare book. It is Fallen by Lauren Kate. This book is absolutely terrible. Would not recommend it, but it's very beautiful. The cover is just gorgeous. I think. Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare and Clockwork Princess by um, Cassandra Clare and I'm just missing one book in the Infernal Devices series and then I'll have all of her Infernal Devices as well as Mortal Instruments series but then I have the City of Bones series here, City of Bones, City of Glass, Ashes, Angels, Souls, Heavenly Fire, I have the Madness Bane, the Madness Bane, the Bane Chronicles, which I have not read yet. Lady Midnight here, the book that tore me apart. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas and War Cross by Marie Lu, amazing books. The Lunar Chronicles series, oh my god, every time I do a bookshelf tour, I just, like, the feels come out for all of these books. But I have Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, and Winter here. The Hunger Games series, oh my gosh, this is just like one of the first series I ever bought and has just been a part of my collection forever and ever. First Firstborn and The Progeny up here, the first two books in the Progeny series by Tosca Lee. Then I have my whole Harry Potter collection. I have The Sorcerer's Stone and I'm pretty sure you guys are all familiar with the Harry Potter series so I'll just quickly like skip over that one. The Lux bind up collection over here. So I have Lux, um, the first two books. I don't remember what they're called. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've read it, but it's an amazing alien book um, by Jennifer L. Armantrout. And then I have a school book here. I have Hillbilly Elegy by J.D. Vance, and then I have Autumn Falls by Bella Thorne. This Savage Song by Victoria Suave. Of the Hush Hush Trilogy, or no, sorry, um, Quad series <laughs> by Becca Fitzpatrick, amazing series. Another amazing series, I have the Darkest Minds series um, by Alexandra Bracken, the Darkest Minds, Never Fade, and then In the Afterlight. This is my Rick Riordan shelf. Rick Riordan is my favorite, favorite author ever. He's my, my childhood author. He's the reason I got into reading. So I have the new edition of the Percy Jackson series here, and it's so beautiful. And then I have the Heroes of Olympus series, which is still in the plastic wrap because I just purchased this. 
um, but I have read them but I just borrowed them from the library when I originally read them so that's why these copies are untouched. I have a couple double copies because I ordered a box set and then I also just had some hardback copies. And then here I have In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware and All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Steve Otter. These are two books that I need to read so that's why they're kind of just sitting here. Then I have the first two books in the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard series and it's really packed in here but I have The Sword of Summer and The Ship of the Dead. Um, actually sorry that's the first and the last book in the series. But book one of the Trials of Apollo and it is The Hidden Oracle. Greek Gods and Greek Heroes which I am so excited to get to. I have have not read these yet. The Red Pyramid, the Throne of Fire, and then the Serpent Shadow. Three books in the Kane Chronicles trilogy. And then I just have a bunch of little survival guides that he releases for each of the series. Blood Confidential and the Guide to Norse Mythology. Then I have these same books in graphic novel edition. So I have The Son of Neptune, The Lost Hero, and then The Red Pyramid all in the graphic novel edition. I am a huge Rick Rudin fan, if you cannot tell. And this last shelf down here, I just have a few graphic novels, um, but this is mainly kind Kind of just like a junk area. Now on to the last giant bookshelf I have over here. Oh, so sad. An Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. The Last Star by Rick Yancey. Burns and Crank by Ellen Hopkins. Awesome books. Smoke and Bone and Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. The first two books in the Fifth Wave series by Rick Yancey. The Fifth Wave and The Infinite Sea. Dune and Destined for Dune by Lori or Karen. Mary Corp and Lori Langdon. Then I have The Nightmare Affair and The Nightmare Dilemma by Mindy Arnett. Dark Horse by Cecilia Von Zegser. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. This book is so good. Ah, Caravelle by Stephanie Garber. Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levin Sellers. This is another awesome, awesome book. The Forgetting by Sharon Cameron. Sweet Madness by Trisha Lover and Lindsay Curry. Love and Other Perishable Items by Laura Buzo. Then I have The Pledge by Kimberly Durding. I have the whole series here, so it's The Pledge. The Essence and the Offering. Shiver, Linger, and Forever by Maggie Stavotter. The Scorpio Races, also by Maggie Stavotter. Shipbreaker and the Drowned Cities by Paolo Bacagalupi. Every Day by David Levithan. The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. And I also have the second and third book in that series, The Dead Toss Waves and The Dark and Hollow Places. They're just over here. Mind Games by Kristen White. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkins. Through the Looking Glass by Jenisha Walter. And then I also have The Queen of Zombie Hearts by Jenisha Walter, both in the same series. Black Eyes by Becca Fitzpatrick. Looking for Alaska by John Green. Paper Towns by John Green. I love this book so much. <laughs> the Fault in Our Stars by John Green. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. You by Caroline Kepnes. Oh, this book is so good. Then I have The End Games by T. Michael Martin, Contaminated by M. Garner, and in the French Kiss series over here, The Namesake, Spellcaster, Not Dropped a Drink, Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, The Host by Stephanie Meyer, Why We Broke Up by, oops, Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler, Chain Letter by Christopher Pike, Wait For You by Jennifer L. Armentrout, Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews, The Gifted and the Gifted Uprising by Elizabeth C. Buer, she's a self-published author, Traveler's Guide to Elizabeth England, and then a time traveler's guide over here to medieval England. I have The Neverland Wars by Audrey Greathouse. The Giver by Louise Laurie. Echoes by Laura Tisdale. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. End of Days by Susan E. Even Adam by Michael Grant. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Then I have Reboot of Madness So Discreet, My True Love Gave to Me, and the entire Cruel series here. Way at the top right here, I have the Immortal series, um, which is just completely out of order. It's kind of just sitting up there. We are getting very low now on my shelf on the last two um, shelves down here on this bookshelf. It's kind of dusty. I apologize for that. The Novice series over here by Taryn Mathura, which is very packed in there so I can't really pull it out. Then I have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, The Program, Love and Other Afternoon Variables. And right here in the front I have Lovely Reckless by Cami Garcia, Immortal City by 
Scott Spear. This book is so good if you want like a really good angel book. Night and Defy, the first book in the Defy series by Sarah B. Larson. Of the entire Divergent series, my love, my life sitting up here. Dream a Little Dream by Kirsten Gear. Night School by C.J. Daughtery. The Weight of Feathers by Anne Marie McLaremore. What We Saw by Erin Hartzler. Starters by Lisa Price. Half Bad by Sally Green. Soundless by Michelle Mead. Until Friday Night by Abby Glines. The Glass Arrow by Kristen Simmons. Hex by Michelle Case. Immaculate by Caitlin Dev um, Detwiller. Detwiller. Flash Girls and Monster Boys. Um, a collection of authors wrote this one. It's a collection of um, creepy short stories. Zodiac by Romina Russell. Landline by Rainbow Rowell. And then I have Room by Emma Donahue. Last shelf down here, I really can't reach very well. Um, so I'm just going to read off what I have. But I have Kane's Flood, Arctic Rising, Conversion, um, The Brilliant Light of Amber Sunrise, The Walls Around Us, Love Letters to, to the Dead, Layla, Immortal Danger, I'll Meet You There by, who is this by? Heather Demetrios. The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. Hyperbole and a Half by Allie Brush. My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Aqua by Tracy Korn. The Dragon's Blade by Michael R. Miller. Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelina. Ah, Pushing the Limits by Katie McGuire. Legend by Marie Lu. Lastly, I have Geek Girl by Holly Smale. And that is it for this giant shelf over here. Ha! Okay, so I got through all of the books on my shelves over here, so now I'm going to be showing you my last little shelf that I have in the corner over here, which is just almost entirely books that I have not read, I believe. Yes, it's a very small shelf, so let me show you that. The first book I have here is Night Film, and then I have Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan. She is the author that wrote that zombie series um, that I showed you guys recently. Um, then I have Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, as well as Between the Spark and the Bird, the first two books, or the only two books in a duology, by April Genevieve Tuckorl. When I Cast Your Shadow by Sarah Porter. Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. Storm Dancer by Jay Kristoff. Blood Passage by Heather Demetrios. The Young Elites by Marie Lu. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. After the Woods by Kim Savage. Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Um, Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes. And I have the first actually all three books in this series, I believe, somewhere over here. Um, and then The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. Beware the Wild by Natalie C. Parker. And then I have The Watchmaker of Filigree Street by Natasha Pulley. And lastly, my last little section down here, I have Nemesis by Anna Banks. Dream Strider by Lindsay Smith, I believe. Lindsay Smith. My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Wanga. I just got her newest book, so I'm super excited to read that one. Um, and then I have Reign of Shadow by Sophie Jordan. Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. Everything Breaks by Vicki Grove. The Raft by S.A. Bowden. Bodine. Gemina, An Arc of Gemina, the second book in the Illuminae series by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, which I have not read, but I need to read. Those are all my books, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if this tour was kind of um, weirdly cut together. My books are kind of in like awkward positions. So hopefully I got a good, um, videography video of all of these books. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep reading, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!